All right, hello everyone. I'm Kenny. This is my YouTube channel. If you're new here and you find this helpful, make sure you leave a like, a comment, and consider subscribing. Hopefully this is helpful. Um, this is a really frustrating experience for me because at the time I, when I bought my new motherboard from MSI, I didn't realize that it was incompatible with IQ. And since I already had a lot of Corsair products, I was kind of upset about that when I switched motherboards. Um, so I'm gonna try and walk you th through how I have worked around this. I have no idea if this will ever be resolved from either manufacturer, but so far for me, it's working. Um, so let's just get into it. First thing you have to do is obviously download IQ software and you can go to Corsair's website, download that. And this is just kind of how I did it. It may or may not work for you. So hopefully it works for you because it's working for me so far. Um, the next thing I did was come into Corsair. I set up all my, I set up all my profiles for my hardware, my, my fans, my head phone stand, my keyboard, all that stuff. I set all that stuff up. All that is currently working and running the way I wanted it to. All right. The next thing I did was installed the MSI Dragon Center, which controls the Mystic Light, which controls the lighting on the motherboard. I also have a set of G-Skill RAM in my motherboard that, for whatever reason, Corsair doesn't support that. So the only way I could change the color on the G-Skill RAM was through Dragon Center. And currently, all my Dragon Center Mystic Light setup stuff is working as well and running really good. The colors are not changing or fluctuating or anything like that. So go to MSI, download the Dragon Center, go into the Mystic Light, set up your motherboard, your RAM, um, whatever you have set up and how you however you want to set it up for your color style. So after you get all that stuff set up, so you can come in here and do all that, whatever. Anyway, after you get all that stuff set up, look in the way you want it to go. Um, you're gonna kind of, I think it'll probably do it, but for me, it completely took over and turned everything of my red of my Corsair stuff. And I was kind of like, okay, this is stupid. So what I did was I set up all my profiles like that in the IQ to the colors that I wanted, the schemes that I wanted, come over to Dragon Center, set it up in the Dragon Center, you know, apply all the settings. So then everything on my side for the Corsair stuff went red. I was like, okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and restart this computer. So I restarted, it booted everything back up and everything was the same way. So the next thing I did was come to my task manager, go to the startup, and then I went to Dragon Center and I disabled Dragon Center. Um, I don't need Dragon Center for anything on my side other than the RGB stuff. So once I disabled Dragon Center and restarted my computer, all the colors for the motherboard, the RAM, that all stayed the same way that Dragon Center had it set up. It was saved in Dragon Center. And then once I rebooted the computer, I started up the IQ software. And while it's running by itself, it overrides the Dragon Center settings and everything was back to normal. Um, I have had a few cases where uh, my keyboard and mouse would turn you know, the dark MSI red after the fact. So what I did there, I would come in, open up the IQ software again, if it wasn't running or something happened or whatever, run the IQ software again, good to go. It worked great for me. This is how I solved it. I don't know if this will be helpful to you. Hopefully it is, but it's working really well for me. Um, yeah, since I'm not able to control the motherboard lights or 
power the RAM lights with the uh, Corsair IQ stuff. It's not compatible with that. Um, it works. And it works really well. I enjoy it. It's a good bypass for now. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this, if you found it helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it a lot. Hopefully it helped. I really do. Hopefully it, hopefully it worked for somebody and this is a nice workaround. If you know of a better workaround, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Be well.